Hey everyone, so a lot of NVIDIA users have had this issue in which the shadow play feature it records the wrong monitor. Of course it's for users who use a multiple monitor system and it can be really frustrating. You literally want to throw out your NVIDIA GPU and you start of thinking of getting an AMD one. But hey, I've come up with a bunch of fixes which have worked for other people and for me. I started having this issue like a year ago but it kinda automatically got resolved when NVIDIA started releasing newer drivers but I started having this issue again since I've gotten Windows 11. As you guys know, it got released recently. So the first fix is very simple. You have to go in your display settings. You have to make sure that your monitor number one is your main display and not monitor number two or display number two. If your monitor number two is your main display, you have to make sure this one is your main display. Either you can check this option or you can turn off your system or switch the monitor cables connected to your GPU. Either it can be your HDMI cables or your display ports, whatever you're using. The second fix is kind of annoying. It's not permanent at all. What you have to do is you have to turn off your system and take out all your cables of your monitors except your main monitor. This, this will prompt, when you reboot your system, this will prompt Shadowplay to understand or think that your main display is the one which you booted your system with. But you have to do it every time you boot your system up. So the third fix, it's a tad bit complicated. You have to download this software called Display Driver Uninstaller or DDU. I will post the link in the description. What it does is it completely removes your display driver files. In our case, the NVIDIA files. But before you run this software, you have to make sure that you have your display driver installation files pre-downloaded because by default, they are downloaded in your NVIDIA folder. And once you run this software, it, they will get deleted. So what you have to do is you have to go in your C drive, in your program data folder. So the program data folder is by default, it's hidden. You have to make sure it's seen. You have to go in program data, and then you have to go in NVIDIA Corporation. And in this downloader folder, in this coded folder name, it, it, I don't have that folder, but you'll have this coded folder. You'll have your display driver installed here by default. You have to make sure that it's cut and it's pasted in some other folder other than NVIDIA Corporation. Otherwise, once you run this software, it's getting deleted. Now coming back to this fix, once you run this software and your display driver files are completely un uninstalled, you have to reboot your system with only your main monitor connected. You have to make sure that your other monitors are not connected. And then you have to install your driver once again. This will give this registry to your computer that you have like your main display in which you are running your game or whatever you want to record is your main display and that is the one which should be recorded so this fourth and final fix i'm pretty sure it will work for eight out of ten people because it worked for me what you have to do is you have to open your shadow play tab and you have to uh, by pressing alt z and you have to press this uh, wheel setting button in the second last option, the privacy control option, press it and you have to make sure the desktop capture is off. If it's off, it will be grayed out. I cannot select it because I'm recording the video with Shadowplay at the moment. Otherwise, it's grayed out for me, which means it's off. If it's on, it would be green. The thing is, once it's on, it gives notion to Shadowplay that you're, it is supposed to record the desktops, which are, of course the desktops are your secondary monitor. Uh, because you're playing the game in your main monitor once it's off it will record the gameplay some people also think that this shadow play recording the wrong monitor it's kind of a hardware issue because it's it's not and uh, i hope these fixes work for you if they do do like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you